Vivian Sharon joins us. She's a real estate broker and author of the Boomer's Seven Step Guide to Downsizing, Overcoming Fear and Discovering Freedom. Thanks so much for joining us this morning via Skype. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. So uh, there's a big boom related to boomers coming to the real estate industry and specific to downsizing. Absolutely. Boomers are really uh, a very large demographic. Uh, they're growing because they're, they're uh, the greatest percentage of the market today because uh, we know that the population in Canada is growing. Um, and they are thinking of moving and downsizing. However, this current year has been a bit of a blip in some of their plans because uh, they want to change their lifestyle. They would like to downsize. They'd like to pocket more money uh, when they sell their home. But right now, because of the current situation with the pandemic, many people are rethinking this moment their plans. Yes, or perhaps they weren't planning on downsizing at all, but just reassessing. And uh, there's just a new perspective for many. Very much so reassessing. About one third of all boobers have been moving. Uh, this is across Canada, and it's a statistic that has been accurate. But this one third that want to downsize, uh, a great majority right now are on pause, but that doesn't mean that that will, will uh, be for a long term. Um, they want to simplify their lifestyle. They'd like to um, tax-free sell their house because they're going to, it's their largest asset, and this is what they'll pocket so that they can travel, visit their children, enjoy life, simplify their life, and uh, definitely make some changes in real estate. Yeah, we uh, learned yesterday there's a huge boom uh, across the GTHA in, uh, in real estate and, and condos, uh, top of the list, and boomers are a big part of that already. Uh, so your seven-step guide, it is so detailed and covers just everything from that decision, but the process as well. So let's talk about pricing strategy. We're certainly in a seller's market right now. Absolutely. There is a lack of supply right now. And because boomers, talking specifically about the 55, 60 year old set, they are not moving so quickly right now. So what that has created is a lack of supply. And those that are in their 30s and 40s with growing and young families, and they want to step up to these boomer homes and purchase them right now, if the boomers aren't moving that actively right now, they will in the future, but if they're not moving now, now, where do these, these uh, 20 and 30 year olds with young families move to? However, there will be a shift and boomers will be moving more as we get into springtime and supply will increase and the, the momentum of real estate will return. So what's your advice in this red hot market? Do boomers sell first or buy first? I would it's a very, very important question. It depends how risk averse a person is. If somebody um, is able to purchase first, they know exactly where they will live and where they will be and the lifestyle that they've chosen, and then they will sell their house afterwards. Um, I would say it depends on how you feel um, at this particular uh, moment in time. I would think the most cautious route would be to sell first. Um, if you feel you want to sell, you know exactly how much money you have in your pocket and then you will be able to make the choice where to move freely because you have that security. Okay, well, there's great steps through all seven uh, steps and we will uh, put the link at chh.com for that download. Vivian, Sharon, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Great being here. Thank you.